In this video, we have a horizontal rod, AB, and we have two 10 Newton forces being applied to the rod, but they are working in opposite directions. The 10 Newton force here is 2 meters away from A, and the 10 Newton force here is 6 meters away from A, and we want to find the total moment about A. So taking moments about A, we are 2 meters away from the 10 Newton force, and that's going clockwise. So take away 2 times 10, and then plus 6 times 10, because that's going anti-clockwise. So we get minus 2 times 10, so minus 20, plus 60, and so that would be 40 Newton meters, and that would be anti-clockwise. Okay? Right, so what I'm going to now do is I'm going to change the problem slightly, and I'm going to change this to 8 meters. Okay, so we've got the 2 meters there, but that's now 8 meters. Now, how does this change taking moments about A? Well, the minus 2 times 10 will be the same, and the 6 times 10 will now be 8 times 10. So we'll have minus 2 times 10 plus 8 times 10, and that will be 60 Newton meters. Now, what I want you to think about is, as we do this, can you spot a pattern and see if we could have come to that answer quickly? OK, so we did have uh, 40 Newton meters in the first example, and now it's 60 Newton meters. Let's change this to 10 meters. So that would change this to 10, and that would change that to 80. OK, I probably need to change uh, a couple more things before you can spot what's going on. Let's change this to 5 metres and this to 50 metres. What about now? So that would be minus 5 times 10 plus 50 times 10. And so that would be 450 Newton metres. Now what you might now begin to see is actually we can work out the total moment about point A by finding this distance, so that in this case would be 45 metres, and then multiplying that by 10. Okay, so let's put that to the test, shall we? So let's change this to, uh, let's say, 8 metres. And let's change this to 20 metres. And let's change this to 30 and 30. Now, what would we expect the answer to be? So this distance is 12 metres. And I need to multiply that by the force, 30. So we should be reckoning that that's going to be 360 Newton metres. OK, so let's check. So we would be uh, minus 8 times 30, and then 20 times 30. So minus 8 times 30 plus 20 times 30, and of course that's the 360, as we expected. OK, so what you're seeing here is what is referred to as a couple. So this is a couple. So a couple consists of a pair of forces which are equal in magnitude but act in opposite directions. Um, they all have a zero resultant force but do have a turning effect. OK. Um, so the magnitude of the total moment of a couple, when taken about any point, um, is always going to be the force times this distance here. So let's generalise our picture. We can do this more generally. So let's 
say that that is P newtons, and that's P newtons. Uh, let's call that X, and we'll call this D metres. So this distance is X plus D metres. So if I take moments about point A, then what we'll have is will be minus x times p, and then plus x plus d times p. So we factor out the p, and we'll have minus x plus x plus d times p. And of course, as the x's cancel, and I just get left with p times d. And so the total moment about point A, because of the couple, is just the force times the distance d.